it's frozen over. See, the drain hose frozen over, so the water puddles down here. And for a while, it sits there and makes some ice, but you see how there's so much ice right now? The door doesn't even close, and it just drips water everywhere. So, first thing first, let's get rid of this plate of ice here. So we have this Whirlpool refrigerator that we've had for, I think, 10 years now. The thing about it is it works great, except every three years or so, we have this problem right here. You see, there's puddles of water. You can see right there, this is all water coming out from the bottom of the refrigerator. Now, this is not a new problem. A lot of people have this problem. Basically, what happens is it gets so bad that you can't even shut this door, right? You can't shut it, so it says, hey, your door's open. But that's because there's a lot of ice. Now, we removed all the food ahead of time, but basically, if you look under here, let me, so I'll just take this off to show you guys what we have. So, this one's easy. All you gotta do is to slightly loosen this just a tad, and you'll be able to lift the door up. You wanna loosen. You should be able to lift this guy up here and take this completely out. All right, so now with that out of the way, we can see what we have here. So we're gonna lift up this tray here and take this out here. So let me just dump this out. So if you look very closely, you gotta look really closely. You see right here, there's a lot of ice. You see there's water right here dripping down into this area right here. So basically, water should be draining into a drain in here but it's frozen over, see? The drain hose frozen over, so the water puddles down here. And for a while, it sits there and makes some ice, but you see how there's so much ice right now? The door doesn't even close, and it just drips water everywhere. So, first thing first, let's get rid of this plate of ice here. So, I like to have a little fun with this and see if we can lift up the entire piece without breaking it, because it's a lot easier to take it out in one piece and then to break it up. But if you cannot take out one piece, then it's okay to break it up and take it out in pieces. Oh, yes! Look at this! Oh, look at that ice! Okay, here we go. We got the entire sheet of ice. This is the fun part. All right, here we go, guys. Let's take this and let's have a little fun with this. Whoa! There we go. That's a lot of ice. Now we go and we need to get rid of all this ice because that drain is still clogged up. That's how you fix it. You need to fix it by getting rid of this ice so the drain works. And if you can imagine, after a few years, it will happen again. Every three years or so, this happens and it is an easy fix. So we can either turn off the refrigerator for about 48 hours, it will melt all the ice and then this drain will work again. Or if you don't want to do that because we still have food in here, we're gonna get a hair dryer or a heat gun to heat this ice up, melt that so it's a drain again. So we're just gonna go ahead and get a heat gun and heat that up right there. It's probably a good idea also at this point to turn off the refrigerator by pulling it out and turning off the power. Or if you don't wanna do that, you can just get a heat gun and heat the area and melt, again, melt all that ice right here so that the drain works and you should be good. Okay, yep, you see these, these things are locked. We gotta unlock it so we can pull the refrigerator out. So that the wheels can touch the ground. Once the wheel touch the ground, then we can slide the refrigerator out. So here you go. Let's loosen. We to track it up and then the wheel is touching the ground. Same thing over here. There we go. So once it's loosened, then now you know the wheels be touching the ground. So you can slide the refrigerator straight on out. So uh, now that that's done, you can pull the refrigerator straight out and unplug it. Alright, we keep going, keep going, keep going. So here's the back side. The good thing is there's no mold even though there's been water leaking because that's the worst thing is to have mold down here. And plug our refrigerator. See, so I unplug the refrigerator. So we got four screws right here. One here, one here, one here, and one here. We're gonna take this back plate out so we can see the drain and make sure we clean out the drain. Alright, one last screw up here. Uh, let's go. You can grab into here with a the hook. There we go. Oh, pull that off, please. There we go. Oh, watch out for the, the, the power cord. All right. So we have this little piece right here. I'll pop this guy back out. All right. So that's popped out. And we uh, can take out this plate. So if you look very carefully, right here, that's the drain. And as you see right there, it's frozen over. So we need to unfreeze it with a hair dryer or a heat gun.
So here's our refrigerator and there's our drain right there. Make sure that drain is clear. So you can see right there, there's the drain. Um, and it's a lot better right now. There's still some ice, but at least you see there's a clear path for water to go down. Before it was ice over completely, you couldn't get any water down there. That's why the water flood down here into our tray and then onto the darn floor. All right, so make sure you clean out this area really, really, really well. Use the heat gun, clean it out. That's where the water is supposed to drain. So guys, that is the trick. That drain right there, just defrost that water, make sure it's dry. And you can take your time to clean up the refrigerator, but reverse everything back and you're good to go. That's it. Just make sure you remember how to do it because you probably have to do it again every couple of years. But that's all there is to it. Hopefully this video helps. If it does, please make sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.